Hi, bestie. Are you ready for some exciting news? A switch has been flipped. Ooh, wrong switch. That's the one. Exciting, right? Wait, what did that switch do? Oh, look at that. Now you can create your own Lego islands in Fortnite. Ready to get building? Just so you know, Lego islands are very different from the standard Fortnite experiences. So before getting started, make sure to check out the Lego brand and creator rules for all the details. Phew, that was some great reading. Now you'll need some Lego Island template inspiration. Well, guess what? There are all new templates for creating Lego content in Fortnite Creative and UEFN. So pack your bags because you're going on a trip. Your first stop will be a crash course in obstacles. Smooth sailing. This is an obby, which, by the way, is a cute nickname for obstacle courses. It uses a mix of basic Fortnite and LEGO props to create a fun island filled with obstacles and collectibles. Let's check it out. As you can see, you will need some jumping skills to get around this course, so be sure to take a good stretch before you start. You might also notice some of the platforms here move, which adds an extra challenge. If you want to make something similar, prop movers will allow you to make, well, props move. It's a very well-named device. And a very useful device. Most of the challenges in this course come from prop movers and the pain of having such a small jump. Prop movers are an all-in-one device that can be used in multiple ways. So take some time to get to know this versatile device. Not only is this obby fun to play, but you can also use it as a jumping off point to make one of your own. Just make sure to stick the landing. You can make your obby replayable by rewarding players for speed, finding secret areas, collecting golden coins, or listening to your sweet, sweet beats. What? You don't have any beats yet? Time to fix that. <laughs> Welcome to the music concert template. Here, you can learn about Fortnite patchwork and make some beautiful music. In this colorful desert environment, you can create hip hop with a rabbit, a slow jam with a turtle, or a beatbox with a llama. No spitting, please. Each stop will teach you all about the different patchwork devices, and you can make your way to the VIP backstage area to make a song and dance it out with the animal band. Once you get the hang of patchwork, you can use it to create songs and sound effects to add to your experiences. Next up, hmm? who's there? Oh, would you look at that? It's the home builder template, the third stop on your island tour. This little town allows you to build your minifigure a house and at the same time, learn more about creating in Fortnite. Win-win. There are quite a few homes already built here, so feel free to take a tour and get some ideas for your own dwelling. And this is creative. You can change anything you want. But before you go and redesign the whole island, let's go over some building basics. The first thing you need is somewhere to build, like an open plot of land. Whoop, there it is, right behind you. Now, you could always follow along with the floating text. <laughs> but who needs instructions? Oh wait, this is a tutorial. Hey, what's that? Just the super awesome creative phone tool. You'll need it to interact with assets in the world or change your island settings. This is a tool used in all of Fortnite Creative. So if and when you become a pro architect here in Home Builder, you can easily transfer those skills to any creative experience. And that was your first Pro Builder tip. Pro Builder tip two is to open the creative inventory, where you will find different Fortnite and Lego props, devices, and more. If you want your creation to match this town's aesthetic, find the suburban galleries, which will have all the items needed. Inside of this gallery, you can find individual pieces to add to your inventory. Keep in mind, LEGO assets have to be placed on a grid and can't be resized. That means assets can't phase into one another like they can in Fortnite. So sadly, there's no LEGO refrigerator in the middle of your LEGO bed. Though you can still overlap Fortnite assets with LEGO assets, which is so convenient for midnight snacking, right? Speaking of food, you can add food to your kitchen. Look under the consumables tab to check out the options. Okay, time for Pro Builder tip three. Some houses have walls and doors, so you might want some too. You could go back to the gallery and look for walls and doors, but there may be a faster way. For example, let's say you really like the walls of this neighbor's house. Well, guess what? You can copy and paste it onto your own plot. Oh, and your other neighbor has a great door. Copy and paste would work again, but why don't you try the cut action? Now who has the cutest door in town? 
And if an asset isn't facing the correct direction, you can use the cut then rotate action to make your stolen <coughs> borrowed assets fit your house. Oh, there's also chests to store plundered goods and other consumables. Go ahead and take a look around at the template and try out all the different uses for the creative phone tool. Then see if you can create something as cool as this. Okay, you have a place to build, rock, and jump. But what if you want to do all three in one place? Surprise! There's a fourth island for you to explore. The Starter Island has an open environment with swimmable water and different land formations. You can use this template island to create your own LEGO Island experience using the creative phone tool to build, the patchwork devices for music and sound effects, and devices like the prop movers for gameplay. So have fun and make sure to share your LEGO Islands for everyone to experience. See you soon, bestie!